All right, hey guys, what is up? It is ZD Edits here. Today for the tutorial for on how to record your COD4 gameplay or clips using AVI demo or COD4 player. It's a pretty simple task. It's actually people just think it's really hard and just end up using Fraps because it's a lot easier. But Fraps isn't. I don't think it nearly looks as good compared to this. Well, the, and the programs you're going to need today are COD4 player, which is a program that lets you take your demos you record. You'll know what that means later and it lets you open them and record them and VDub which takes the screenshots that you took or whatever and you'll understand that later turn them into an AVI demo file like a, like a demo, not a demo, like a video file alright so first things first go into your Call of Duty 4 I don't know, I'm just skipping all that go into your new, I just made a new account for this tutorial and options yeah, I already put all the graphics down and all my stuff. And so what we're going to do first is mods, start up pro mod, and start a new server. I've actually never like seen what some of these maps look like in pro mod. Let's just go with, I think, I'm trying to find one that looks pretty good. Let's go with Showdown. I've never done Showdown before on Pro Mod. Alright, so now we're going to start. First things first, we're going to set up all of our binds. Alright. As you can see, Whatever. Leave all that the same. And come back. Alright, whatever. Alright, so first things first, we're going to set up all of our binds. And this is pretty simple, actually. Alright, so go into your console. Well, make sure you have inside your multiplayer options or game options enable console. Make sure I checked yes, and go to console. Type in slash bind, and we're just gonna do our F1, F2, F3, and F4 buttons. So, and you're gonna need four buttons open for this. F1, and then just say record. What that's doing is just, just whenever you press the F1 key, it's just gonna record. And I'm gonna do slash bind F2. Stop record. And that's pretty simple. So now what we have now is, let's say, oh, slash com. Alright, so now we have all this right here. So now whenever we press F1, in the, in the bottom left right here, do you see how it says recording demo 000 and 85 whatever kilobytes? Well, this is, what that is is it's just like, it's just like pretty much recording. It's like recording which what I'm doing right now. Make this one a little bit longer. Right, that should be good. And then press F2, and it stops the recording. All right. While we're in COD4, we're just gonna go ahead and set up our other binds. We're gonna be needing, and we're gonna go into console. Type in slash bind F3 V3 F3. And we're gonna type. Oh nope! Don't do this yet. Don't do this yet. Just skip this one. And just go back and type in slash bind and, and do F4, not F3. And type in CL underscore or like leave a key that you know to initiate the movie config that I'll show you how to do later. And CL underscore nope, bind F4 toggle CL underscore AVI demo and then let's go 150 FPS to zero so slash bind F4 toggle CL underscore AVI demo 150 zero press enter and now watch see what that just did press F4 and everything starts skipping because it's like doing stuff I don't know press F4 again and it stops I don't know why it does that just because it's like recording or whatever and you can leave the game actually Probably just not you to leave, definitely. And then open up your Call of Duty 4 folder. 
Uh, I downloaded this config called just for this tut tutorial called Nimbit Tut. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to CFG Factory or whatever and Modification Center. You're just gonna find a movie config that you like. And the one that I'm using right now is this one, Flash Movie Config by Config by Redman. I like it. Oh, I don't use it for my like my stuff, but it's one to touch for the tutorial. And so what we're gonna do is, so it's good like that, right? You just download it, open up the file, and then it will come with like a CFG file called it's called something else, but I renamed it to Tut. And you can exit out of that. And we're gonna go back into COD4. And we're gonna go to option. No, not options. Start a new server. Actually, I always forget to initiate the mod for some reason. What's gonna start? I'm pretty sure I set it. All right. And now what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna. I have all these things set up in a thing right here. See, you can exe name of config. I'll put all this inside the description. And bind. Let's go F3. What the hell? What is it doing? I don't know what I just did, but whatever. Go into your console, type in slash bind F3. And then we're going to type in exec space tut tut dot cfg and press enter. Don't press F3, I don't know. Just don't press it. I don't know why. Just don't. Or whatever. Don't press the button that you binded your movie config to. Now you can leave that game. X out of this. And open up COD4 Player. I'll have links in the description to download this. And press open demo. You're gonna go to Call of Duty 4 folder to your mods. Your demos will always be located inside the mod that you're playing. And then it's this one. Let's delete this one. And then it's this one. I'm gonna click it and it's gonna act like it's opening up Call of Duty 4. It's gonna say shipment, but it's not really shipment. Showdown. And now press F3 and see how it makes the movie config. Like, like makes it look all nice and stuff. And then what you do is press the CL. And it goes really, really slow, like 20 frames per second or whatever. And I'm gonna let this do it. Like, just let it play for her however long you want to record for. And I'm just gonna come back with for you guys. All right, so we just got done doing whatever I had to do. Where it recorded the thing, and then you can just X out of COD4 Player. You don't really need it anymore. See what I'm times doing. Eight minutes, not bad. And you're gonna need this program called VW64. You open that up. Oh, and I'm gonna show you guys. It makes it so much simpler. Go into your uh, Call of Duty 4 folder and go to uh, mods. And just I have to keep this one for right now because it has all these screenshots in it. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are all these? Hold on, I wanna see what this is. You see, it's a these things get, like, files get pretty big. Like, this one right here is probably about, I don't know, maybe a gigabyte or maybe three, I don't know. Somewhere around that range. I just want to see what this picture is real fast. Alright, so there we go. Let me see where that last one ends. Let's go 154, see if that's my new one. So let's just start it at 154. Delete everything above it. I guess I'd already had someone recorded in there. Okay, so now we're right here. And we're gonna... Okay, I was gonna show you guys this. Go to your mods folder and create a new mod called like... Just call it like record. And then there'll be like nothing in there, right? But for me... I'm using this one right now. Doesn't really matter. And then what you're gonna do is gonna go into COD4 player and set up. Alright, whatever. For, just forget that, what I just said. 
It doesn't really matter. You don't really need it anyway. Just I don't feel like setting it up. Come on. So just delete that. But just like go to one of the mods, like Pro Mod, Two Live, One One One, whatever. Well, I guess there's more in here. I guess yeah, whatever mod you're in, I guess it's gonna record. Never did this to me before, but it's gonna record the demo to it and whatever. So you can just X out, and then we can just delete that. You can just you can just like delete the screenshots whenever you're done with that, and you can delete. It will keep on creating those folders. And you're gonna go into VDub, go to File, Open Video File, and it's gonna. So you're gonna go to where your monitor's located, right? Mine's an old school. Open it, go to Screenshots, click the first one, make a big screen or whatever. And now if you like scrub through, like plays, what the? Oh wow, it like it recorded my. So don't, don't like leave it, because I left to stop the recording, I like to pause it, we are in it, and it like straight up with all that, and it doesn't matter to me, because I'm not using this, and go to, so now you have all your frames in there, right, and then you go to video, frame rate, and then change frame rate to FPS, and then you're going to put in whatever you're recording at, I think I was recording at 150, so, press OK, and then, I'm gonna go down here and press. You can just press S F7. It saves as AVI. What? I don't know why I did that. Save as AVI. Push location for that hard drive on my computer. Oh, I don't know. I had this doing that. Just like save it somewhere. Videos. Tut. And then it's gonna like do. It's gonna like play through it. You can just go. I'm missing highest, and it goes very, really, very really fast. And that's just like what this is doing taking all the uh, screenshots and it's combining it into a video file. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then, once you're done with that, you just you can go back into your Call of Duty 4. And then, mod, uh, promo live, not promo old school. You can just delete that, and delete them, and delete screenshots. And these files can get pretty big, that's why I use After Effects to like compress them or whatever. But if you don't compress them, then they're really good quality. Like best ever. And then you're gonna go to where your videos are. Open up this one, it's probably gonna be like see that just that like five seconds of video is one point six gigabytes. So you you're probably gonna need at least fifty gigabytes of free space on your computer. It's gonna play through really slow, but it doesn't matter to me. And then what we're gonna do? You're, you pretty much there. You have your video, but it's not like it, you pretty much just, you're done now. But like, if you want to stay longer, I'll show you else what to do. Like going to After Effects and show you some good render settings or something like that. <laughs> All right, so it's loading up After Effects, and I'll pro I'll put the clip. Actually, I'm not going to do that. Never mind. Uh, I'll show you my render settings and whatever. You know, to like whatever you know. You know. Now I'm talking about. All right, so After Effects is opening. Come on, After Effects. This program is so slow. All right, so you're going to go to File, Import File. I'm gonna go to libraries. I save mine in videos. Go to tut. Just drag it onto a new comp. And then you can ch you can change the frame rate to whatever you want. I usually use 60. You change this frame rate to 60. You can skip one. Me, I have to do that. I'm just gonna see if it did it right. You can see it like went to my desktop. Record it on nice and smooth. See so how smooth that looks. And what it does is the higher FPS you record at, because you shouldn't use Twixter for this, you just use timer wrapping. Like time, enable timer wrapping. And you just create a new keyframe wherever you want it to go slow, wherever you want the slow to end. 
and you just drag that out. And what that does, it just makes it smoother in between. Like it makes it really, like if you record at 500 FPS, you'll have like, it'll be like so smooth right there. No lag at all, like no frame skipping, no warping. And then we show my render settings, composition, add to render queue. I use H.264, H whatever. I have a custom thing. And then best settings, you all you know, use this comp frame rate 60. And then output module, let's go through these. Format options, this is wrong. It should be CBR and make that. 120. Alright, press OK. You don't need an audio output because there's no audio. If you want to record audio, you can go back into Fraps and record it and then like match the audio up, but I don't really care for that. So, and press OK. And you just press render and then you're done pretty much. Uh, thank you for your time. Peace.